So in this video, we're looking at one of the most difficult topics to ever cover when it comes to Photoshop topics, funeral card design, or some will call it obituary card or tribute card. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back. So the resources that I'll be using in this video is provided in a link in the description. So you might want to check it out. Let's get into Photoshop. Now this one is going to cover any other Photoshop version that you're using, but I am specifically using Photoshop CS6. So let's start. Now you go to file and then you go to new. And mostly what people use for this particular design is the international paper A4 size. The inches is the 11 by 8 inches. That is the 11 is going to be the width and the 8 will be the height if you want to basically change it straight from here. But then you can use just this one and then you click OK. You go to the image and image rotation and you're going to rotate this either 90 clockwise or anti-clockwise now we're going to set some guides to help us or just put us in shape so we go to the view and the new guide i'm going to set this one to vertical and then i'm going to set this one to one percent and click ok so it is going to give me this line over here i'll go to view again and then 99 percent and then it's going to give me another one over here in between because this is going to be a book fold because you're going to fold this one you have to give it a little space so we go to the view again and then you set this one to 49 percent so instead of just dividing it straight into 50 percent you give it 49 and then you set another one again and you give that one 51 percent so the 50 is going to be the actual space in between here so now we are all on course everything is on, on point I'm going to add the last one which is going to be the horizontal one and i'm going to set that one to 65 percent and it is going to be here now next off let's go back to our resources and i'm going to bring in my first resource over here so it is going to be the background it is going to serve as the background so i'll bring it over here and press ctrl t to transform it and i'll position it here so i'm going to take this one to make sure that it is done and i'm going to right click and go to the rasterize layer so i'm going to decrease the opacity of this particular layer so about 50 percent anyhow you really want it but then you have to make sure that it is a bit very 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 down I'll go back to the resources and I'll bring in my condolence flower here and I'm going to position it somewhere on top here. So I'll double click on it when I'm done and I'm going to right click and rasterize the layer. Now once you're done, this is a bit conflicting with the background. So you're going to add a layer mask to this one. Select your brush, B for brush, and then you can right click and then you increase or decrease the size anyhow you want it but then you increase the size a little bit and then you can clear this one off so you can take your time to just brush the whites here off so that it can just be at its own place so though it's going to be there but it's not going to conflict with the background you can as well go ahead and decrease the background a little bit more but i think this one is okay so next up on top of these two we're going to add a rectangle on top and that is the reason why i initially set this 65 percent guideline horizontally so i'm going to draw the rectangle here and i'm going to give it a color so you double click on this layer thumbnail here and you can give it a color mostly the color is being chosen or is being derived from the image that i'm using that is basically how I most often choose my colors but then you can just go for any color and the color also has to be something that is for funerals so you go ahead and you click ok and then you're good to go next off I'll be doing another rectangle on top of this one but you have to make sure that you don't hold shift 
else it is going to join with the first rectangle that you have so i'll go for my rectangle again and i'm going to draw another rectangle that is basically what we'll be placing the image in so it will be around here like a very big one like this and i'm going to give it a color white so i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it press ctrl t and then i'm going to transfer if you are using mac it is command so you just bring it here and i'm going to change this color to any color at all you can give it basically any color just to know that this is your rectangle so you hold ctrl and then you select these two and then you can push them up a little bit like this because you'll be putting some information over here so it doesn't have to take all the space down there next off i'm going to bring in my image so the image is going to be clipped into this particular rectangle that we duplicated so i'll go back to my resources this image has already been worked on so um, you can check other videos on how to remove images or basically you can just put in the image if it has a nice background already so this is a picture of my grand my late grandfather that is why i'm using it for this particular tutorial so i right click and go to the create clipping mask press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform it out neatly like this so you, you can see that it is fit just right inside of the image that he created so you can see that from this image we can derive a color from here which is going to be something like blue black so something like this or you can go way blue black like that but then i think the first color looks good so we can still maintain it so right from here i'm going to adjust my flower over here a little bit and i'm going to set the opacity to about 50 54 percent somewhere around that area i hope you are getting the point now let's go ahead and add some couple of tests to this one so this is going to be according to how you want it so it can basically be in loving memory of celebration of anyhow you want to really put it but i'm going to choose a font called messenger pigeons a link to download it will be in the description so you definitely have to check it out so i'm going to write in loving memory of so i'm going to change the alignment to centered and i'll go to the toggle character and i'm going to open it up a little bit so this memory can also come here so that it reads in loving memory of and then i can close it up a little bit but then you can also choose any other caption that you want to give it so um, a homegoing celebration in loving memory anyhow you want it and then you give it a color and then you click ok so next off i'll be adding the name to it so i'll go back to my resources and this ribbon here i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop i'll double click on it and i'm going to click ok i'll go for my eraser magic eraser tool make a one click and then the background is off i'll go for the polygonal lasso tool and i'm going to select this particular one so i'll press ctrl j when the selection is done and i'll drag and drop it inside of the document that we are working on so this is going to carry the name of the person the deceased so you open it up to this side you can google for ribbons and probably going to get one that is similar to this one or oh, it has a very similar color to the colors that you are using and here you're going to add the name so the name of my grandpa is ek adu so you can give it a, a different font probably railway and then you set it to bold and this one is going to be white so that it can be seen so bold and then something like okay bold would do and you press ctrl t to transform it out and then you can slightly rotate it like this so that it looks good over there and you take your time to position it so it reads in loving memory of ek adu 
now the next thing that you're going to add is still adding test so inside of this notepad i have some couple of tests so i'm going to select this one the sunrise that is basically the day he was born and the day he died and i'm going to use the font called acrobat so a link to that also will be in the description and i'm going to use the semi bold so i'm just going to paste it out like this and i'll select all of them and drag this to the left side so that it's going to decrease the size okay so basically the sunrise is the day he was born and then the sunset is the day he left the earth so we can just select this one change the color to something yellowish yellowish like this in order to just make that one stand out so select the sunset as well and you paste the copied color okay so click ok and then you're good to go so basically that's it the other things will be the funeral dates and i have all these here since this is just a tutorial i have the funeral dates and time will be here a church location and officiating minister all of them will be here so i just copy them out duplicate my sunrise and sunset and then i'll drag it on below and i'm going to paste this one here so i'll press ctrl a to select it all close up my leading like that and that is basically going to be it so i'll change the color to white the funeral is going to pick the color yellow so i'll come back and copy this one again go and change this funeral date and i'm going to give it a color yellow over there so i'll press ctrl t to take my time to transform it out to be a little bit smaller and then i'll position it over here so the officiating minister as well is going to take the yellow color they are those things that will be standing out on the on the card or on the brochure or tribute anyhow you call it now at the back of the card this is going to be a folded book so don't don't forget of that so at the back of the card is going to contain the poem and other things that you might want to bring over there so i'll go ahead and choose my test tool and i'm going to type in poem over there and i'm going to open it up and i'm using the font called lovely home a link to it will be in the description as well so i've got some sweet poem over here as well so i'm going to select that and i'm going to copy it out okay so the poem is going to be here i intentionally want to make it like two so i'm going to select my test tool and start to write here and i'm going to use railway okay but this time around i'm going for the medium italic and i'll be using the left alignment so i'm going to decrease the font size as well it shouldn't be all that bold and big so i'll paste the text that i copied over there i'm going to select it it's still so big like that but then i don't want it to be that big so with this one i just want to make use of the just one so i'll just center it make it simple for me and i'll drag and drop it over here so the poem is going to be positioned nicely over here and i'm going to place this one as well and i can go back and copy the rest think of this this and that copy that and i'm going to add it to the poem as well so that is going to be my poem and the rest would have to be appreciation and thanksgiving so the appreciation i'm going to copy the poem here press ctrl j to copy it and then i'll drag it here so because of the color i would have to select it so i'll go for the test to make a selection of it all and then i'm going to change the color to white so afterwards i'm going to write appreciation over here and the font because i copied it the font is still lovely home okay so i press ctrl t to transform this one out and then i'm going to position it over here next off i'll duplicate this one as well by pressing ctrl j and i duplicate a lot of text because it makes it simple it makes workflow easy so i'll change the color to white and then i'll go back to here i have a special thank you message and i'll copy that 
and come to this one select all of them and paste it here so the special thank you will be right there and then i'll duplicate that again i'll duplicate that special thank you by pressing ctrl j so a lot of duplicates will be around and then i'm going to select this funeral arrangement is entrusted to the person or the company and then i'll paste it over here so basically it's going to be appreciation special thank you and then the funeral arrangement will be right over here so that is going to comprise of the the front cover of the booklet or the tribute or the funeral card anyhow you want to call it so i'm going to select all of them from the top here hold shift and select the first background and press ctrl g to group them so you can call this one the front or the cover anyhow you want to call it so now that we are done with the front cover the next one is going to be the inside one i wouldn't spend much time doing the inside over here but in the subsequent videos and let me know in the comment section if you want to know how to do the inside one but i'm just going to give you a very brief of what you can use to do the inside that is going to contain probably the program outline the officiating ministers the obituary itself and some couple of pictures let me know if you want me to do a full detailed video like the one i've done on the cover here for you but since this is the cover on top of this one we can hide this one so that we don't get confused so on top of this one we're going to make the inside but you have to make sure that since this is a booklet when it is folded this one will be at the very front and this will be the cover so when you are doing for the inside you have to make sure that right after it is open the next page will be on the left so if it is an officiating ministers or any other thing it has to be on the left that is what you have to note so i'll go for this flower again and then i, I can post it over here and then i just leave it right there so it will be around here and i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit and then i'll go again for my roses this is some roses that i got online so it will be also here and it will be underneath of this one and i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit so that one can shift a little bit here so we're going to have two flowers over there now because i'm using this particular color let me turn these ones off because i'm using this particular color right over here i can use it to make something nice here so i'm going to select the rectangle and i'll draw a nice rectangle to cover that so it will be on top of all of these ones and i can bring it over here so when you want to write something like order of service so it's going to be lovely home and order of service so order of service is going to be here and you have to make sure that everything matches so probably the order of service is going to be here and then the officiating ministers or let's say the obituary obituary is going to be here so you can add a couple of tests here and then another couple of tests here so like i said this video basically focuses on the cover design but if you want to see more into detail how to do the inside as well let me know in the comment section and i'll take time to do a full video on that one as well all right so basically that's it losing a loved one is very very sad i understand but then when it happens we have no other option than to at least make them feel proud and one of the simple ways is to make something nice in honor of them so you can take time to go through this video over and over again to get your hands on it or basically if you don't have enough time you can place an order on my fiverr account link will be in the description and i'm going to get this done for you in a few minutes thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out other videos like flyers church flyers and thumbnails and channel arts and banners so many things that you can do with photoshop thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one
It's Innocence here. And bye.